Hi there. In this video, we'll be taking a look at a PicTech digital earth resistance tester from 0 to 2000 ohms. Exact model is uh, PicTech 2700 and I want to apologize PicTech for uh, not making this video sooner. This has been sent to me for a good while and I just uh, kept moving it uh, from one place to the other and uh, yeah, I've had a bit of uh, other pri priorities, but now uh, actually through Casa Verde greenhouse uh, in Romania, we are getting um, from the government some money to put solar power, uh, solar panels for uh, solar power basically on the houses, but uh, you need to have good uh, grounding. If you don't have uh, grounding within specs uh, in your house, uh, you need to make one, to build one, to have the company build one. And obviously you pay for that in most companies. So this thing will actually tell me, uh, is my grounding good enough or uh, I need to expect some uh, more um, uh, cash uh, handing to the company to build me a proper ground. So let's get into the box. I must admit this is quite a big package and it's a bit intimidating because I have no clue what we will find in here and how this works. So basically this is a, a bag that you can uh, carry on your shoulder, padded obviously on all uh, sides, even top. And oh, it also has a zipper in here. Let me get some more. I keep pressing the wrong button. Get some more light in here. Okay. Oh, okay. So the unit itself, let's get rid of uh, the protection film from it. Mm. Nice. Peeling uh, protection from devices is always satisfying. So yeah, obviously it has a support on it, which is lockable, test, hold, adjust, light. Okay, heart voltage. Hmm, this might uh, be able to do more than I, I had uh, the idea. Okay, let me get in here and see what we have. So we have some uh, grounding spikes, presumably this will be put into the ground at a particular distance, that should make sense in a way. Oh man, there's, whoa, there's lots of stuff in here, okay, okay, actually where do we, ah, here we plug stuff in, I was wondering, so come on, PNC. Okay. Man, this is really, really freaking involved. Okay, so we have three wires, tube to tube, color coded. They plug into there, obviously. This, uh, ah, okay, okay. Clamps. So the clamps themselves. How are actually the clamps working? Hmm. Oh no. You, uh, <laughs> yeah, when you have no clue what you're doing, this happens. So it stays like this and you press it like this. So it's, uh, I was expecting a clamp with, uh, ah, come on, get out. Uh, a cro crocodile, uh, uh, alligator clip whatever you want to call it with a hinge and you press on the ends no this one stays connected always at the end and it's soldered so you are not losing any contact in there and presumably yeah okay okay i got it now live and learn i guess get two three three hundred volts presumably all three of them are the same yeah Yellow is the same and red. Yep, exactly. All three are the same. Oh, and we have separate clamps uh, for this. This is going to be interesting. So maybe for 
some stuff you can uh, get away with using these short ones and for other stuff you need the really big uh, long cables probably in the documentation we will be uh, told the length the total length of the cables the manual and some probes standard probes it seems okay I think there were other probes right here so it seems I got actually two sets of uh, of probes with it I don't know if it's uh, it's uh, standard to get two sets or only one set uh, I I, um, I asked for the for this thing a good while ago and it's not uh, necessarily uh, that I get uh, anyone maybe I, I simply get uh, a sample and maybe in a sample there are two sets instead of a single set but uh, that's absolutely fine important thing is that uh, it's a working unit and I can do my thing as always English starts from uh, middle of the manual safety precautions right here Feel free to pause it anytime. I'm not going to to read all of them. So the size of the display, sampling rate, power of after 15 minutes, operation temperature. So not if you are below zero Celsius, uh, you are not going to be using this. And ground will be also probably frozen or have some snow on it, so that, that's not a good idea. It has six batteries. Normally, again, in a standard, absolutely brand new unit, you would need to put the batteries in yourself. And there are four screws for that, which you open up and uh, get into the battery compartment. I will do that in high speed just to show you how to replace or put in the batteries. crisis uh, avoided uh, I could rotate the screw and just pull on this upwards and it will release because you don't slide it like this you slide it uh, like this so yeah we have the batteries all in so we don't need to put uh, those uh, in anymore if you don't use this for a long period of time remove the batteries don't let them in you don't run to your battery is uh, leaking any fluid uh, in the battery compartment and uh, damaging quite a nice unit. So yeah, for me now, just put the screws back. And don't feel too enthusiastic about uh, tightening them too much because uh, uh, it doesn't really help. Tightening, tighten them just enough so they are, uh, I don't know, in there. Yeah, here you can uh, attach it to some sort of uh, lanyard if you want to. So you undo the screws and get whatever you need behind this and then close up the screws. So test leads with crocodile clips. Oh, 15 meters. Nice. So red is 50 meters, yellow is 10 and the green is 5 meters. I freaking did not expect this is 15 meters. But yeah, if you uh, calculate uh, basically the length of this and count uh, how many turns uh, there are yeah actually two times the length and number of turns yeah you probably <laughs> can figure out that there's 15 meters in there auxiliary earth bars hi there batteries and operation manual so maybe these are not uh, even normally included in the package i got a little bit of a bonus which I'm not complaining about, <laughs> for sure. So thanks, Big Tech, for uh, having those uh, in here. Let's see. Okay, okay. So hold function, backlight, yep. Range and the res resolution of it and the accuracy so uh, accuracy is actually the important thing the resolution a bit less important earth voltage dc voltage ac voltage so it can actually measure even dc and ac okay 
if that gets uh, on the display, yep, you need to put in new batteries. Short the tips and press test. Ah, and you adjust to zero. So then you uh, compensate for the clips, for the cables, for everything, and you know, okay, those are zeroed out. That's, that's nice. Rotary function to earth volt. Uh, should be a, a V, not a W. <laughs> a small, uh, small translation error. I'm quite sure in German it's written with a W, so that's where that came from. Okay, per voltage more in, my, in errors in earth resistance measurement. Okay, may not be made. So you don't need to have more than 10 volts in earth voltage. Okay instrument terminals stuck in dirt in a straight line okay so that's the earth electrode that we need to actually measure next to I need to dig a little bit to get next to that one because I'm not 100% sure where the guy that built the house put it suitable range and press to test and take the reading so red to one of these uh, yellow to the other one and green to house uh, electrode basically okay and simplified me uh, measurement so it seems we also have that one higher than is measure haha okay so if you have a quite high uh, resistance or you cannot put the spikes in the ground, maybe everything is concrete around you, you still can do this, but it will not be that uh, accurate. Uh, yeah, we are not doing this. I can uh, put electrodes in the ground without any issue for, uh, for first uh, variant. And current is measuring current. So what this puts out, milliamps so it will not trick uh, the LCBD air leakage uh, breaker which is perfect in case you have that and I do have those but uh, the smallest ones are think are I think are 50 milliamps or 10 milliamps so no chance of triggering those voltage measurement yep it can do that resistance measurement so it's a bit more than just an earth tester. It can uh, do more measurements, simple measurements uh, that an electrician, for example, might uh, might need. And battery replacement, notifications about battery regulations. So now let's uh, turn it on. Where do we go? 20 ohms. Earth voltage right here. It tells us the battery voltage. That's interesting. Wasn't expecting to get that on a tool. Yeah, it's telling us the battery voltage. Okay, cool. But uh, yeah, I cannot go and test now because uh, it's winter and obviously it's raining out because why would it snow? So there's that. But uh, as soon as uh, weather fixes itself in a few days, I'm going to go out and uh, Hopefully find a decent uh, earth resistance and uh, I don't need to pay anything more to get that fixed. And we also have a backlight for the unit in case you are doing measurements uh, um, in the dusk or something like that. And the, the backlight is timed um, to 15 seconds so it will preserve battery life. And times off nicely by dimming like you saw. One of the spikes is in, uh, it's about 6 or 7 meters from the ground that I, I'm measuring. Let me go and put this 6 or 7 meters even further. Second spike is also in. If my logic is correct, now I'm zeroing out the wires. So let me go, not to voltage, to this one, test and see what we get. Ah wrong direction so we want to be on zero 
so the wires themselves don't matter at all and it's perfect so now I go to off and then connect everything in place and then we will do the uh, earth voltage test first clamp is connected now I'm going to go connect the second yellow one and third red one connected second clamp and now I will go connect the third one connected third clamp and now we are ready for measurement now that we have everything connected I'm going to go to earth voltage and press test and there's nothing in there so maybe I should have done this when they were actually all three connected one to the other so we see if anything uh, induces in the wires themselves I don't know I'm going to do that at the end I'm going to just connect them again to make sure that everything is fine but for the moment I think we can actually do the test itself so in theory we have 3.24 ohms which is below the 4 ohm limit that I need to have uh, uh, for the solar panels great just want to mention the first test that I did was almost at 10 meters so now I move them closer we are at about 6 meters between electrodes I want to see what that uh, changes in terms of uh, reading first again earth voltage almost nothing maybe it's good maybe this is how it's supposed to be and it's just uh, okay <laughs> I, I literally don't know maybe if you are close to some transformer or something you would have something in here but uh, yeah anyway let's get in here no pretty close okay okay that's that's actually quite good I like that so we seem to be ready for some solar panels awesome testing again earth voltage with the wire spread around just to make sure that I'm not doing anything wrong so it seems I don't even need to press because it doesn't do anything while pressing and if I go to this and test yes we are zeroed out so the wires are zeroed out yes in my opinion our reading is correct and it's good perfect okay so for us it was perfect and we got a real uh, measurement with this and the measurement is good enough and if you cannot do this if you don't have uh, where to put more spikes you can basically measure um, in your uh, distribution panel using these clamps and uh, yeah you are done in that case but it will not be a definitive value it's just yeah simplified measurement with approximate value or if the earth voltage was more than 10 volts then again would we would have need uh, to do this i'm expecting the earth voltage is happening where there are lots of power lines or something like that and for me it was zero so yeah it is what it is i i cannot really do more than that so yeah I hope this video helps you it really did help me to to figure out uh, if my earth is uh, okay or not and it is which is freaking great again thank you very much Pictech for for sending this unit in quite a cool device and uh, yeah helps a lot in determining if you are okay with what you already have or you need to pay lots of money to somebody to make uh, a new ground in my case I don't awesome again and that's about it if anybody has any questions feel free to ask in the comments check out my other videos many of them with uh, big tech tools uh, in my tools playlist and uh, yeah see you in the next one bye